single whip and a rooster on one leg or golden rooster stands on one leg, whatever you want to call it. Squatting single whip. Rooster on one leg. And then we have uh, the functions. So uh, first, we can look at a, a hook with his left to my head up here. Right? If he does a low hook, it still works fine. Right? If he uh, faints with that and goes with that, still fine. Um, if he kicks with his right, he's trying to, yeah. You're going to hook the knee here. See that? So you're kind of holding on to the leg so you don't come in with this. Um, if, you, if he's a high kicker, yeah, let me kick, but if he's a high kicker, you can just go to the groin with that. You kind of duck under it. Yeah. And then you come over this one. You can't kick that high, but if you see a high kick like this, you can come right under there. Um, <coughs> just have to watch out for his hands. Just remember that. <laughs> Better to get on the outside if you can. So, um, that's the punch. If he grabs me, I get on the inside grab. It works fine. You just do the full loop, and you get all that. And this will come up here. Come to the IT band and this can come under or to the armpit depending on how big he is. If he grows on the same side, yeah, you're going to really want to take it and loop it into his body and then pull it kind of down. <laughs> right? And then they'll give you this and this will come up here. And that's the rooster. And grab. Uh, you can grab my hook hand too. So it doesn't matter which ones he grabs, it still works. You're just going to do something like this and peel them off. See that? So you're going to see the peel off. Not the true peel off, but <laughs> peeling like an orange. Uh, okay, so that's the grab. If he grabs me around the waist, you're going to grab, you're going to hook the head this way. This one's really for a wrestler, and you can see why. You've got a headlock built into this, and you've got an arm lock built into this. If he's holding strong, you just push the shoulder right across, and that'll get him off you. And then you have your next thing, which is that and that, which he wasn't even there. Right. <laughs> but it can happen. Uh, so that's pretty good for the squatting single lift. The rooster one, you have to look at more in detail. Um, if he punches with the right to my head, you can just parry with this and come right to the knee to the groin here. That's on the outside. So you can just kind of move across his body with these and bring the knee in. Then you have the second rooster on to come underneath or on top, either way. And that'll come maybe to his liver on the, on the outside that way. On the inside, if he hooks with the right, I'm starting on this side because that's the form that you would just block and come in with that. Yeah. This is very effective. Um, you know, especially in a boxer when he has both hands up and he's fainting with that one, he's kind of tearing out, he just come right in through and bring him to the knee. Okay, so nice. Uh, I really recommend that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's on the inside, which we see a lot in, in this culture. So again, from the grab, we look at the outside and the inside. On the outside grab, you're looking at this, right? And this is all to get this kind of thing into it. But you can also just peel up the neck and put the elbow underneath. So you can hit under the armpit, right? Then hit him in the back of the head with this. If he blocks with the other hand, you take it down and you've got a cross lock. And look, I lift this hand near my knee again. Okay? Then move back. And then, um, <coughs> and that's on the grab. On the wrestler, uh, this one you would probably want to step back instead of stepping forward like they do in the form. So when he comes in and grabs me around the waist, I'm going to step back with my, whichever foot I have forward, so my left in this case, and 
peel his head off this way to get my knee in here. Okay, and I'll do it on the other side so you can see. So I'm going to bring my right foot back. Watch, I can kind of lead him with this hand, with my hip, see that? To turn a little bit, to get my left hand in. I turn a little bit to the right. Then I can pick the knee up and throw this in. This can peel off too, so if I, if I can get the elbow, I can kind of peel it out. That's the wrestler. I like to punch the wrestler and the grappler. Okay, the push hands versions. Push hands for squatting single whip is a little bit tricky. Uh, basically, he's going to push with. Push your right. Push with your right. And I'll push you. So, what happens is I'm going to put my hand right on his hip. The more he pushes, watch what happens to his hip. So this is going on the side of his hip joint. You can't see that. As he pushes, I'm pushing right. I just take that pressure and drop it into my foot and then transfer it into that left hand. So that's why it's full. OK? The rooster will do on the other side. Again, he's going to push with his left again. Watch what happens now. Uh, yeah. I'm going to drop it into my back hand and lift my right hand up, and this will just come in. So you're going to try to put your elbow right into his sternal notch. Right into his sternum. And as you drop the shoulder, you lift the knee. And that should end up right in his goodies. So don't lift the knee if you, if you like this guy. <laughs> just put your sternum, elbow right in his sternum. Look at the hand, too. See? So the more he pushes down, the more this goes up. You can push with the other hand too. It's same, same thing, actually, easier part of it. He pushes with his right. So you can try both hands. Okay.